Hey guys, Archer here, first year medical student. Today I'm planning to do a vlog, which is a little bit different to my other videos, so let me know what you think of it, and let's get straight into it. Hey guys, so basically we're just planning to go down to Hell's Gate, I reckon. Um, but before we go down there, we have to head down to the beach. We decided to head down to Hell's Gate just to be those stereotypical tourists at Noosa. The idea was to have a relaxing, slow walk without having to be focused on productivity like I usually am for every single minute of the day. Look at this. Because of the whole coronavirus situation, my friend Emerson and I decided to head up to Noosa, Queensland just to get a break from it all. We were originally planning to go to Europe during the uni break, but yeah, we kind of all know what happened there. We were also quick to notice how good these beaches actually look in person. So basically, we're trying to get past that point all the way over there, and from there we're going to go another beach away until we get to Hell's Gate, so that's planned. Even though there was that whole coronavirus situation happening, there's still a lot of people around enjoying life like it was summer, but back at home is actually cloudy and rainy. At one point, he actually ended up catching a pretty cool wave just then, uh, but besides that, there wasn't really much else interesting that happened because he was just waiting to catch a wave. One of the great things about the walk though, was that there was tons and tons of dogs that were really cute. So basically, we've just walked all the way from back there, and what I was trying to say here is that we're trying to head up to that point there. I mean, I wouldn't mind living in that house. This was basically our view, even though that we are only halfway up the hill. And again, for some reason, there were a lot of people here who had really cool fun activities to do. We firstly had the dude with the surfboard, and then we also had this person who was just chilling in the middle of the air, floating with his parachute, without wires or anything attached. Walking up the hill wasn't the easiest thing, but in the end we clocked a few kilometers just walking up to the top. But the whole walk was relaxing and a good detox from such a crazy year of med school applications. I hadn't really had a full proper break from year 12 because interviews and offers were during my long year 12 and uni break. And also because coronavirus also decided to start hitting the world as well. All right, so we finally made it here. And this is our view. After that, we just started walking back to the house to get on with the rest of the morning. Oh, and along the way, we had to get some pictures just to make sure that we were fitting that tourist stereotype. And the parachute dude was still up in the air, and he even decided to put on a trick for us by swooping in really low. So we've just been walking back for like the past hour or so. It's actually been so long since we were all the way back up over there. So I'm just pretty tired um, and we're heading back home. So we'll get, be able to get something to eat and then we'll go from there. Now Emerson's saying that we're lost and we don't know where we are on the beach. So it's all on him to get us home. We found it eventually by backtracking a bit and the place that we were staying at was amazing and we were really lucky to stay up there for the week. Cody. Cody. So now we're locked out and we're trying to figure out how to get in. The door was closed on us once we left, so I don't know how we're gonna do this, but we'll get there. So now we basically just wait. Let's go. ISO adjustment. 
Now that we were finally back in the house, we had our lunch and because we were especially lazy for today, we cut up a loaf of bread and just had it with butter for lunch. We were planning to do a lot today, so avoiding a large meal meant we didn't feel sleepy straight after having our food, basically avoiding a Spanish siesta. Alright, so the idea is just to have a shower and then we're going to head out and go to the Civic. So let's go! After that, we went downstairs and hopped into a Tesla off to the shopping center to buy some stuff from Woolies for the weekend ahead. And the Tesla was so cool and I really wish I could afford one, maybe in 50 years or so. We walked in and got our stuff and literally walked straight out just because of the whole coronavirus thing and we didn't want to really be there for too long. I'm not sure why, but it just seems so cool and extra to have an SUV, which pretty much has these automatic doors. So now I'm just going to worry about recording a upcoming YouTube video um, just over here. So we'll get that done now. After all that productivity goodness was done, we had dinner and then it was time to head downstairs for the rest of the night. After a very productive day of relaxing up in Noosa, I called it a night and tucked into my blow-up bed for the night. We had lots planned for tomorrow on our holiday and so ends this day in our life on a holiday. Thanks again for watching and see you guys in the next one. Good night.